Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a first impressions video on the new Anastasia Rivera palette. I created this eye look using this beautiful palette. I did do eyeshadow swatches on my actual eyelids so I will go ahead and link that up in the cards for you guys if you're interested. Here is what my palette looks like after one use. There is a lot of shadow kick up everywhere in case you guys are able to see that but anyway let's get into how I created this look. I don't even know like what direction to go in. I want to play with all the shimmers but ugh, it's just I mean how many shimmers can I fit on my eye? <laughs> that will be the challenge. I think my favorite trimmer on this palette is Seaside and Mediterranean just based off of swatches but it's all so so yummy so without further blabbering let's get into it just want to let you guys know the foundation i'm wearing today is the ColourPop no filter stick foundation and i picked this up a while ago this is my second time wearing it and i'm wearing the shade 145 w which is medium dark and you get 9.5 grams of product in here which is 0.34 ounces in case any of you guys cared i'm also wearing a new concealer this is the milani Conceal Perfect Longwear Concealer, and this is the shade 145. Again, this is warm beige. I love how watery this is, and it doesn't really dry out my under eyes, so I really like that, and I like the shade, and I like the packaging as well. So, very exciting stuff, and let's dig into the Riviera palette. I want to try Cabana. So, I want to start out with Cabana in my crease. I actually really like the brushes that come with the Anastasia palette, and there's always a like crease brush or like a buffing brush. So I'm going to use that to use the shade Cabana. And I'm just placing that in the crease. The shade Cabana was not very pigmented when I tried it on my eye in the swatching video either. I don't think it comes off the same shade as it does in the pan. Still on the hunt for like a beautiful yellow tone mustard shade. I think I found one in the Wet n Wild palette that I have, one of them. But I feel like this could have had used a little more yellow for my skin tone. I'd be interested to hear the take of somebody with really deep skin about this particular shade. Maybe I should have used my Urban Decay primer. Maybe that will get it to stick better. Now it's creating a lot of kick up when I use this brush because this brush is a little bit synthetic and a little bit spiky. <laughs> so we are kicking up a lot of the shade Cabana in the palette. So that is that. And now <laughs> just to intensify it, I'm going into Coastline, which is the shade right next to Cabana, it's right here. And I'm just gonna place that in the lower part of my crease and it's a more peach color, so it's actually lightening things up, which is okay. I like it, I like it. Kinda drug it down to my lid too, which is fine. Now I wanna go into the shade Monte Carlo. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the shade uh, Coastline. And again, I'm just going to stick that in the lower part of my crease just to pull some, you know, color in there so it doesn't look too, like, muted. So now I have a nice defined crease. And I want to go into the shade Seaside. And I'm just going to use a flat brush. And I don't want to wet it, I just want to see how the formula does on a dry brush. Wow, that's pretty nice. Okay, there is a little bit of fallout right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just going to sweep it off with this eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in with my finger. And that helps intensify it a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more punch. So I'm going to grab this Sonia G brush. Uh, this is the Crease Pro. And dip into the purple shade Canes. Or Canes, yeah. Is that how you say it? Cons? Canes? 
These meds are not going on as... Okay, the purple's kind of taking over, but it's only because, like, I feel like my eye looks so boring. <laughs> I don't know. What's happening to me? Okay, I'm going to try and wet this brush. I'm going to wet it with the Mario Badescu Lilac Facial Spray. We're going to go back into Seaside. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's foiling like a bad boy. Okay, now I want to use the shade... Mediterranean. Oh, such a beautiful color. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna mix the two colors because I love this Mediterranean shade so much. And it definitely Got blended into my crease a little bit. I don't know why. I was just expecting so much more pigmentation from the mattes. I feel like they're letting me down. The shimmer created quite a bit of fallout under my eyes. Usually I would use a glitter glue, but I don't usually have to do that with Anastasia, so I didn't. And there is a hot mess under here. Okay, so I swept that away. And now let's do some eyeliner. I think this one by Linda Hallberg is gonna be perfect for this eye look. This is the shade Cool Mood. And then I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used to grab my shimmers and go into the shade Seashells, which is like the beautiful teal green. And I'm just gonna Foil that on underneath my eyes. Love how that color looks. So that is the look. I'm gonna put mascara on and some face products and I will be right back. Okay guys, here is the final look. I have to say I did cheat a little bit. I didn't feel like the eyeshadows were as vibrant as I wanted them to be, so I did throw on some of this Pixie by Petra Glitter. This is a glitter eye quad in the shade Blue Pearl. I picked this up at my Target. My Target is getting remodeled, and I think that's why this was on clearance, because I'm pretty sure this is a new product. I picked up all three of these quads, and it's okay. This is a side review to the Rivera review. I was expecting something different, I think, with the formula, so I don't really love these. They're literally pressed glitters. I guess I haven't really used as many pressed glitters as I had thought, so don't necessarily love that formula. As far as this guy, I feel like I was struggling today. I feel like if I did my regular makeup routine, which is usually to do my eyes first, I wouldn't have struggled as hard. I'm also filming this a few um, hours or maybe even an hour after I did that eye swatch video and I feel like my eyelids are feeling really dry and I didn't use my Urban Decay primer which I feel like made it really tough for the mattes because I felt like they blended away and I felt like the shimmers weren't as vibrant as I was expecting and I did wet them a little bit but maybe the next time I would use a glitter glue just to see if I can get them to be more sparkly. Overall, I'm glad Anastasia did something different. I'm excited that they did some color. We haven't seen a palette like this from them in a really, really long time. I remember when they did the artist artistry palette. I'll throw up a picture here. I used to own that palette. I did end up decluttering it because I've had it forever. And so this really feels like the first time they did some fun color, so I'm excited. And I will keep you guys posted on how I feel about this palette. See if I'm able to create more beautiful looks with it. I do love the packaging. Just to let you know on here, this is cruelty free, 18 month shelf life, and the net weight is 0 0.73 grams, and it is made in the USA. So, exciting times. <laughs> And yeah, that is everything for my first impression. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you bought the Riviera palette or if you didn't, let me know why. I love talking to you guys down there and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys! Bye.